displacement current. This is one of the basic concept that is essential for the existence of electromagnetic waves in vacuum. And the best example to understand the concept of displacement current is capacitor. So consider a capacitor and wires. If we apply AC, AC supply to this device, the current flowing in the conductors is because of the electron. Whereas there is no flow of electron between the capacitor but still the AC supply, AC current can pass through the capacitor easily. How is this possible? This is possible just because of the displacement current. In this video we will derive the equation of displacement current and then apply those equations directly to the capacitor and observe its behavior. So from Maxwell fourth equation we know that the curl of magnetic field is current density. Consider this as equation number one. Let's take divergence on both sides of equation 1, this equation. So divergence of curl and the divergence of current, current density. Since from the mathematical identity we know that the divergence of curl is always zero. Therefore, this is always zero, which is equals to J. This consider this as equation number two. Now, from equation of continuity, we know that del dot J is equals to minus of del rho v by del t. This is a fundamental equation and it is always valid. So let us consider this as equation number 3. Since on comparing on comparing equation 2 and 3 in, in equations 2 we can see that the di divergence of current density is zero whereas in equation 3 we see that the divergence of current density is some quantity so these two are not zero therefore they are inconsistent to each other and this is a fundamental equation this cannot be wrong so there is something wrong something missing over here let us consider JD be the missing term. We take it as JD for our convenience and we don't know what JD is. Use this in equation number 1. So del cross H is equals to this is our equation number 1. We are adding JD in equation number 1. So del cross H equals to J plus J. Now let's again take this, consider this as equation number 4. Now again take, again do the same mathematics over here, but that we have done over here. We'll do the same mathematics on this. So take the divergence on both sides. That is divergence of J plus JD. This quantity is again 0 del dot j plus del dot j d. This implies del dot j d is equals to del dot j minus of del dot j. Since 
from the equation of continuity we know that del dot j is equals to minus rho del uh, del of rho v by del t use this over here del of j d is equals to minus of minus del rho v by del t which is equals to del rho v by del t since rho v is equals to del dot d how is this this is by maxwell first equation use this relation over here we find del dot j d is equals to differential partial differential of del dot del dot j d is equals to bring this partial integration inside or we can write this equation like this minus of del dot equals to 0 take the divergence common out j, plus, j d plus del d by del t which is equals to 0. This implies that this quantity is z, 0. Minus. Sorry, this is minus. Jd minus del t by del t is equals to 0. Okay, let's. So this was our missing term which we were find, trying to find. So Jd is equals to partial derivative of d. d is Max, sorry, electric flux density that is the, the electric field line per unit area is D. So this is our missing term which is equal to J D. Let us take it as equation number which equation number equation number five. This is our equation number five. Put this equation number 5 in equation number 4. Okay, so the modified Maxwell fourth equation becomes del cross H is equals to J plus J D del cross h is equals to j plus use this jd over here del d by del t so initially we have this equation as maxwell fourth equation that is curl of h is equals to j but after the concept of displacement current this is our new maxwell fourth equation del cross h is equals to j plus del d by del t and from uh, this, this is current density, we can find the current from the, this equation number 5. Since current is equals to integration of current density over ds. So, the current is equals to jd is actually equal to this quantity over here del d by del t into ds this is our current this was current density this is our current displacement current displacement current density 